What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another diecast model review. Today we are looking at the Eagle Moss. This is the Stargate Ships Collection, the F302 from Stargate Atlantis. This is from Eagle Moss, the now bankrupt uh, company that is no longer in existence. Eagle Moss ended up selling some of their stock that was about to come out and some of the uh, models that they didn't sell to a place called Master uh, Replicas, I believe is the name of the company. So if you check out that website, you will see some older Eagle Moss models that uh, already were released and some upcoming ones that Eagle Moss was supposed to release that never uh, made it. Looks like they printed a or made a few of them and Master Replica got their hands. So I assume any of the Stargate stuff um, Battlestar Galactica, any of the newer models that were on pre-order that Master Replicas now releases. Um, there's not going to be a lot, so you'll definitely want to grab them if you can because the quantities, I'm sure, are low. So, let's take a look. As far as the packaging, you get your standard Eagle Moss box. You have Stargate ships. Nice picture of the fighter on the front. Stargate Atlantis F-302. You do get a foam uh, insert. Nice box. Get a display stand, which I have not... Uh, Took it out of the package yet. Haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or sell it. I'll probably keep it um, just because it's cool, but eventually I might sell it. So I don't know if I'll display it a lot. Taking a look at the model, I think the model, they did a really good job. Um, the paintwork is just silver paint, which is pretty uh, accurate to the show. I was never a big Stargate uh, show fan. Um, I thought the TV series was kind of silly, but I always liked the this vehicle or this fighter jet from the line. I really like, if you can see there, you have F-302, U.S. Air Force. You do have some little placards, like your no step on the wings, some warning or caution. It is a uh, two-seat jet fighter. Kind of has more of a helicopter canopy, kind of like a, an Apache or a Cobra helicopter. You have your kind of intakes on the back. You have your two vertical stabilizers both of them say f302 u.s air force you have your two regular jet engines and your big rocket engine um, my camera sucks so eventually we'll get a new phone but you can see there's some nice detail in the thrusters on the other side you have the landing gear um, which are re retracted and then you have your i think these are just regular aim nine missiles i forget what they use in the show but it's a modified real world uh, Sparrow or AMRAM that they used for um, space combat. Underside is nicely done. I believe these two little uh, antennas, they look like to me, are the two rail guns on the front. I could be wrong. You have some more uh, caution placards by the canopy. I don't know if I like, I know this is basically modeled after the Death Glider from the Stargate movie and TV show. This is the uh, the U.S. government's version of that. I don't like the kind of downward swept wings. I wish that it was swept kind of more back, not forward and down. But this is accurate to the vehicle on the TV show. I do like the uh, caution tape on the end of each wing. I wish they did have, I don't see it, some red and green uh, in-flight uh, blinky lights there, but I don't see them painted on. So overall, a cool model. I don't know if it's worth um, a scalper price. If you can get this for close to what Eagle Moss models used to be, I think that the asking price for this was around $79 when it was on pre-order from Eagle Moss. If you can get it around 80 to 100, I think it's worth it. Um, depending on how popular Stargate is, if you hold on to this, I'm sure you can make money off it just because the quantity is limited on this model. So, just want to do a quick uh, video on this. Do like it. I'll probably keep it um, for a little bit at least. Forgot to show the uh, other air intakes on the bottom. That's cool. And then the 81071. Um, like I said, might keep it, might sell it. If I do sell it, I will uh, let everybody know but definitely a cool sci-fi fighter to add to your collection. Hope everyone liked the video, and thanks a lot for watching.